Another quick update on the market. So going back to play, um, I want to talk about sharing in a minute. But just going back to play, someone left me a comment and said that this was not a rising wedge uh, on the player chart. There was actually a triangle. Now I'll just address that. Now let's take this away and let's see how we get our triangle on here. Okay, so the triangle that he's referring to is coming from here down to there. I'd assume and from here to here all right so we have a triangle okay now that's including this top wick over here on this choppy candle okay on this choppy candle which looks like a light a, a half more lightsaber okay and then it's taken out the bottom wick on there to get your triangle okay now if we bought it down here to get our triangle all right Let's say that was the triangle. Okay, then you got these wicks coming out and it's getting uh, uh, brought back up. Or let's say bring it from the bottom of both of those wicks and we get on triangle. And those to me are not valid touches. Those are like, uh, uh, there's no um, confirmed price action because we've got all this empty space. Okay, if this would have went down and touched it, then I would have said, okay, look, we've got one, two, three touches, you know, and that's a triangle. Okay, uh, right, so. The best way to do it is to bring that to there all right so then we've got this one okay so if we let's bring that back so if we say that's our triangle once again okay uh, we take out that wick so that means we should take out this wick as well so if we take out so if we take out this wick okay We've not got a triangle because it came out and it came back down okay so if you bring it back down here you can see that's not a triangle so the only way you can get a triangle is to include both weeks okay all right now if you bring that down there and that down there okay then like i say i can't say that's a triangle because you know the action the price action is not uh, typical of a triangle pattern okay so the only way the only other way to make this make sense in my opinion is to take out the wicks okay now if you did keep these wicks in then you would have a um, you know obviously it's still invalid but then we need to see the price action responding candle body close type response okay so for me that makes a little bit more sense okay so when you had this sell off here it just bounce bounces off the bottom where it begins and then you get this one which is indecision okay this candle is indecision all right and you've got the price action that continues and it'll go down to there we bounce up touch the top of there get rejected off the resistance bounce down there back off the 50 day moving average and then still respecting this line by getting bought up by the wicks we've got a clear touch on the bottom there and then up uh, it continues okay so that's why i don't think it's a triangle now if uh, it was a triangle anyway and you take if it was a triangle right and we did get a breakout of the triangle uh with not too much volume yeah because uh, patterns change all the time uh, to be honest guys you know and everyone sees charts differently and it's good for us to kind of share our views anyway so yeah it's good that you know i don't mind but um yeah if it does break out of this triangle for example uh, this technical triangle then it you know obviously you've got the resistance there right and if it did break out of this resistance there's always a potential that it can get rejected off this line and that's why i'm foreseeing a wedge you know because if it doesn't break out of here with significant volume as you can see the volume is low anyway and it needs a lot of volume to break out of that area and then we've got the resistance there and then we've got another potential resistance there because patterns change all the time at the end of the day but it's always good to look at it from a different viewpoint and i like to have a contrarian view anyway if everyone thinks it's going up it could potentially be going down because this market is designed to take most of most the most money off the most amount of people most of the time all right next we have sharing 
and it's just a quick update on sharing okay so obviously we saw it come up um, over the past couple of days and now we've reached resistance and it's failing to break through that resistance at the moment but it is still respecting this level and what we'd like to see now is a break out of this level and we see some price action above this level before another leg up and next week we've got a new exchange listing as well as the exchange listing that happened yesterday so a lot more volume should hopefully come into this over the next couple of weeks and uh, yeah I mean that would be indicative of a bullish breakout uh, to be expected all right let me know what you think in the comments guys uh, if you haven't subscribed already please do subscribe and let me know what you think and yep yeah, like the video of course and I'll see you again in the next one.